DJ Scope is in the house. Just to kind of give us the vibes as we get into something very special because the birthday boy went on an adventure. Yep, as he does. And I think one of the most magnificent mountain passes in South Africa, the zigzagging curves of the Sani mountain pass ascend through the peaks of the Drakensberg. And then, of course, Link was in Natal to the kingdom of Lesotho. Wow. Well, many nice activities lesson. can be enjoyed. I thought when he said curves, you were describing Raoul, but anyway. <laughs> uh, over, the over the next couple of days, of course, Raoul went there. He was so fortunate to go and explore the area as it transformed into a winter wonderland. You have to see this. Whew. <laughs> What is up, you beautiful people? We just touched down on the legendary Sani Pass. Now, it's the only road link between Kazuna Natal and Lesotho, and although the weather does seem like it's cooling down, I am so excited because the outdoor activities and leisure is just about to heat up. Let's go check it out. <laughs> Mr. Vezi, I can't thank you enough for inviting me here. I mean, I've just been here for a few minutes, but I'm already in absolute awe. But can you tell me more about the beauty of Dr. Nkosazana Lamini Zuma's municipality and some of the history behind this place? The Dr. Nkosazana Lamini Zuma local municipality is located in the southern Drakensberg of KwaZulu Natal, in the Herikwala district municipality, situated uh, in the border of the Republic of South Africa and the Kingdom of Lesotho. It's a beautiful place, a wonderful place. Not because of its namesake, but because of what you'd find there as tourist attraction areas. You have the Sunny Pass. The Sunny Pass is a world famous road that leads from the Republic of South Africa into the Kingdom of Lesotho. It passes through the mountains. It's the highest pass in South Africa. It's a breathtaking drive. Only four by four cars, cars are allowed there. Oh look, I can't thank you enough for encouraging everybody to come out here and explore this magic, as well as for the work that you are doing to preserve the natural and authentic beauty of this land. Thank you. Thank you. Michael, I'm so excited and I can't thank you enough for having me at this fine establishment. But I'm not out there in the beautiful abyss exploring all this landscape. What can I expect to do right here at the resort? Well, it's just so much to do, you know, but it all depends on the type of weather. So that's why we try to cooperate as much as we can do and we try to adapt as best we can due to different weather conditions. So we have a kids club, we also have a whole set of other activities for the adults and that ranges from bingo, even soccer outside and even games night or even a general knowledge quiz. We do have a wild stacked entertainment program which is full of activities. Oh man, it sounds so exciting. I cannot wait and I think my first activity is going to be horse riding. So what can I expect from experience and uh, what should I look out for? You can just expect the beautiful scenery that we have to offer. Actually, when you're out there, it's quite nice as you go past near our beautiful waterfall, which is pretty close to the property itself, about 1.1k, so it's not too hectic. With a little river rushing down there, it's absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait, man. Let's go. Oh, what an incredible experience to start off this trip right here in the Sunny Pass. And we took this beautiful galleon steed out into the valley, watching over some snow-capped mountains, viewing an incredible waterfall just to top it all off. And uh, I can't thank you enough. <laughs> but it's on to the next adventure. And tomorrow morning, we are literally taking to the skies. Let's get it. Now I've journeyed through the foothills of the Sani Pass via horseback, but now it's time to take in this beautiful landscape from a new perspective. It's time to go up, it's time to go high, it's time to paraglide. <laughs> and so I'm so excited for this. I've never done it before, so this is literally a bucket list item for me. But before we get into it, where does your passion for paragliding come from and how long have you been doing this? I started flying 32 years ago. But for a long time before that, even as a kid, I'd wanted to fly. So what's happened now is we're basically one of the biggest paragliding schools in South Africa. We're, I think, the second oldest paragliding school in South Africa. What we do is we do tandem flights, 
like what we're going to do with you for people with zero experience. And we just take you for a nice flight, have a good time, show you what it's all about. Okay, well, look, I'm not looking to do anything crazy. I just want to have a good time. So let's keep it easy, let's keep it safe, and let's get it. Come along. <laughs> oh man, that was incredible. I can't think of a better way to just take in the beauty out here. I mean, such a unique perspective. We got to see all the way through to the Drakensberg mountain range, the snow-capped mountains, the lush rolling hills, but absolute magic. And now I think I've worked up an appetite, so there's only one thing to do. Let's go higher. Let's go all the way to the top of the sunny pass. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Look where we are, people, surrounded by snow-capped mountains right here in the Sekeringe village, greeted by beautiful people that are so accepting and inviting. I mean, come on. This is just like living in an absolute dream. 3,000 meters of altitude. What more could you ask for? Woo! <laughs> Wow, I mean, talk about taking a dining experience to New Heights. Polo, this place is absolutely incredible. But what can you tell me about this fine establishment's history? It was bought by Khapamit Malike in 1992 from a family in Anderbeck. Um, it was first established by the people who used this pass to trade in Mkhotlo. So they decided to make a, a little inn where they could rest, have something to drink and eat before driving to Mkhotlo the following morning. I can imagine after all these years, so many people have still stepped foot in this beautiful place. But what can we expect in this day and age when it comes to fine dining on a beautiful balcony like this? I mean, the highest pub is the best place to have a cold one, a, uh, hot chocolates, cappuccinos, and then the food also, we have our famous uh, pizza, our famous basotu lamb stew, curries and beggars. There's, there's a lot to choose from. KZN, what can I say? This entire trip has been an absolute dream. I think there's been so many bucket lists first for me that I got to tick off when it comes to the Lesotho region and all the beauty of those people there. Uh, Sani Pass, paragliding, experiencing snow, exploring this beautiful landscape via horseback. I mean, the list goes on and I've literally felt like I've been living in an absolute dream. I can't thank you KZN enough for having me and the beautiful people of the Zulu Kingdom. This is definitely a place that you want to come visit all year round. Wow. His happy place. How cool is it seeing Raul in his, his element like that? Look at that. Look at that! Look at our mountain man. Happy yeah. birthday, dude. We're going to probably say that every time we talk about you today because you deserve it. I hope you're having the most amazing birthday. Um, but that was the most incredible location. I mean, you got to make snow angels. Uh, that's, that is the best. Also, the, the highest <sighs> pub in, in Africa was there. That must have been pretty fun. <laughs> the so altitude affects you a little it, bit. It does. Uh, you must be quite a cheap dad after that. Uh, but either way, it just looks like a, a something to add to the bucket list. Gorgeous. And it's here in South Africa, something that we, we really, sometimes we take for granted, but I think it's, it's beautiful yeah. stuff. We have to add it. A national treasure. Well, it's about that time of the morning where I think we, we've earned and we deserve a cup of coffee.